Hi there, my name's Jeremy, and this is an app that I'm building called Styly. I've made some screencasts about Styly in the past, but I wanted to give you an update on some of the cool new features that I've built into Styly recently. So if you've never used the app before, the idea is that it's a, it, it, it's a simple tool to help create CSS animations so you don't have to write the code. So the basic idea is we take this little cross here, crosshair here, and we can move it around, uh, and we can just move them around as much as we need, and we can add more keyframes to this animation. We can either hit uh, Add Keyframe, or we can hit the K key on the keyboard. So we just add keyframes, and we can just move them around as need be. We can also, and a lot of things are draggable here as well, um, so you can move things out of the way as you need them. So as we look in the control panel here, uh, which we can hide and show with the C key, you can see that we have all these keyframes here. And these properties all have an easing formula associated with them. They're all linear by default. Um, so if, for example, we take uh, the, x, uh, the x axis here and give it uh, a bounce, ease out bounce, then we can see that it's bouncing around now. Uh, and we can change it to whatever we need using sign. It's got a little curve there. And we can change the, the different axes independently of each other. We can also change the rotations, which I'll show you in a moment. So let's, uh, let, let's combine bounce and ease in sign. So now we've got a nice little bounce effect here. Uh, and if you don't want a keyframe, you can just delete it from here and add new ones and reorder them by clicking their little uh, their, their time signature here and just everything is just drag and drop. Um, if you don't like the built-in easing formulas you can use a custom easing formula and I will show you how that's done right now. So let's reset these to linear for a moment and I'm gonna hop over to the motion tab right here and you can see we've got this little window here for defining the control points of a Bezier curve for an easing formula. So we can just take these control points here and move them around uh, before I do that, let me show you, uh, to create an easing formula, you can use this, the, uh, the default custom easing 1 or add a new one here. So let's, let's go with custom easing 2. And let's go back to the keyframes tab and change the easing of the X on the first keyframe here to custom easing 2, the one I just created. Now it's got a little curve here. Um, and we'll go back here, and now we can define the motion of this. So as you can see, the curve and the motion is being changed on the fly. So it's pretty cool. If you, uh, if you, if you give several properties the, X easing form, uh, the same easing formula and edit it on the fly, you can update them. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, and just change this last guy here. Cool. And we go back to the motion tab, and again, we just drag things and everything updates automatically for us. And you can see the coordinates for the, uh, for, for the control points of the Bezier curve right here as well. Um, and that lets you uh, define any kind of motion that you want to use for your animation. So another cool feature here is uh, we, ha we have more than just X and Y here. We have uh, the three axes for rotation. And you can either type them in here, and you can hit, you can increment and decrement them with the up key and the down key, respectively, on, on the keyboard. But an easier way to do this is to hit the shift key, just hold it down, and we can either rotate it uh, with a little handle here, and we can see that the ball is rotating on that particular part of the keyframe. And there it's rotating. And we can also change the 3D coordinates of that as well. So we can just grab this little thing called that I call a cubelet, and we can just change the 3D axes by just dragging up, down, left, and right. So this gives you three, uh, three degrees of uh, three axes of rotation for everything, and you can do this independently of every keyframe. So the ball just kind of moves around and spins. And it's pretty cool, and you, again, every axis has its own um, easing formula. So if we wanted to change uh, uh, the, the Z rotation of, the, of keyframe 3000 here, we could just give it ease and out port, and none of the other ones are, um, are affected. So it's all very, uh, very granular control. So this is all fun and, 
this is all well and good, but what's the point of this application? Why are we making little animations? Well, for one, it's, it, it's, it's nice to prototype this stuff out. But if we want to actually put this to work, the whole point of this tool is to generate CSS so that you don't have to write the code to make this happen. So let me show you how the styly workflow works here. Um, we have this code here, and since we're in Chrome, I want to demo this. Um, and I'm going to deselect W3C, and I'm going to select WebKit because this is a WebKit browser. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over to CodePen. You can see that we've got this class name, um, and I can give it whatever I want. My awesome animation. Fortunately, uh, the screencast is slowing down my, my MacBook Air a little bit, so it's, uh, it's, it's kind of chugging along when it's doing heavier operations like this. But um, there we go, my awesome animation. And we're going to hop over here. We're gonna, we're, here's CodePen, so this is just a live updating buffer. And we can just do, um, let's take my avatar URL here. Paste that in. My awesome animation. Cool. So they spelled that right. Now let's go back to Styly and grab the CSS that was generated. Oops. Copy that. Again, the, the, the screen recording is slowing down my computer a little bit, so hopefully this whole thing will work a little bit faster for you. And just paste it in. And there it goes. You can see my face spinning around the page with nice little curves and everything. So this is pretty cool. And everything is customizable. If you don't want to rotate a ball, if you want to rotate, um, you know, this image, for instance, you just take this and uh, paste it into the HTML tab here. And should hopefully update in about a second. And there's my face. So you can put whatever you want. You can put text, you can put another image, um, anything that you want to animate. And of course, you can control all this stuff with the little scrubber down here. Everything is fully interactive. Um, and you can just edit and prototype and make whatever you want, and it's pretty cool. Uh, if you need help with this, you can just hit this little uh, help icon here, or just hit the H key for help. And there's uh, in online help here. And Styly is an open source tool. Um, if you click on the logo here, you'll be taken right to the source. Once it loads up on GitHub. Um, again, my machine's kind of slow because uh, the screen recording's taking a lot of the CPU. And here it is. Uh, here's all the source. So if you, uh, you want to make a change or want to request a bug, please do so on the uh, GitHub I uh, issue tracker. Um, if you want to make a feature request, I'm happy to, you know, I'm happy to implement them. I've implemented, implemented feature requests uh, in the past. I'm happy to keep doing that. Um, but yeah, this is Styly, and I hope that you find it useful. Thanks.